in a world of muzzle loaders dominated by smelly, awful old black powder, one Austrian was determined to forge a new path. No ramrods, no smoke, no fouling, occasional leaping fireballs of Habsburg death. This is the Austrian gun cotton country. of the, the six shot challenge for the six shot gun cotton challenge is you have to fix the bayonet just in case because you're, you are still Austrian. It's six shots, right? It doesn't say the rounds have to hit the target. It's not. <laughs> six rounds in 57 seconds, and some even made it to the target. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, so I'm going to explain why one of those shots was a leaping fireball and uh, a little bit on the accuracy that I got and uh, a little about the five or six shot challenge. So that round that didn't go off, uh, that's the result of my very low pressure gun cotton cartridges. Like any other smokeless nitrocellulose powder, gun cotton burns much faster under higher pressures and my rounds are deliberately loaded very weak, which means sometimes they just don't generate enough pressure to burn quick enough to fire the round. I'm using an original Austrian rifle, 162 years old, and gun cotton is just not something you want to take any risks with. It blows up guns if you aren't insanely careful. Now, for accuracy, I did hit the target three times, which is kind of surprising because at this point, my gun cotton is totally experimental. I haven't even tried to get them to shoot with any accuracy yet. Uh, in fact, I'm happy when the bullet reaches the target stand at all. Historically, though, uh, they were very accurate, and the Austrians loaded them pretty hot with a very high velocity for a rifle musket. But no one shot Lauren's gun cotton rounds since the Johnson administration, which is the first Johnson administration, that is. And very few details were actually written down about them. So this is trial and error recreating them. Uh, the Austrian gun cotton was mechanically woven into consistent forms, and how tightly it was woven determined its burn rate. And I can't make it that consistently. So my accuracy is not going to be that great until I figure out how to make it consistent enough to get repeatable results. Historically, the Austrian army ran some tests and in nine and a half minutes, they fired 55 rounds, an average of about six shots per minute, which is exactly what I managed. And uh, once again, experimental archaeology has confirmed the historic data. And the six-shot gun cotton challenge is a tongue-in-cheek spoof of the five-shot muzzleloader challenge, which is just a fun and simple test of speed and dexterity with a military muzzleloader. Uh, my friend Barry came up with it at the April 2023 Victorian rifleman shoot in Kentucky. Basically, you just load and fire a musket five times for speed, and it's, it's really just for fun. Uh, the current fastest score is held by some YouTube pseudo-expert, uh, five rounds in one minute and 18 seconds. But Barry's rules for the five-round challenge require ramming the rounds, and in an obvious preemptive act of anti-Habsburg bias, cartridges that just drop down the barrel are forbidden, so the link gun cotton cartridge is disqualified from the five-shot challenge, which is why I did the six-round challenge. Uh, with uh, fixed bayonets and all, and that's okay, I don't mind. We have entered the exciting new age of smokeless powder. 
it barely makes it to the target. And those Philistines with their filthy hands and clouds of rotten egg smoke can fumble about with their ramrods if they want to. <laughs> Peasants. I'm Brett from papercartridges.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.